So Ashley, so tell us what's going on with you guys, with the company, and sort of what's been, bring us up to speed. Uh, well, it's been a crazy sort of couple years. Uh, I think the most reflective sort of part of my journey is that I believe that realizing the dream of what our platform profit is and will be for the industry is more about emotional intelligence or EQ than it is about IQ. I think what we've learned over the last year and a half really sitting down and starting by listening to our clients and our customers, which are operators, programmers, digital publishers, small newspapers, sort of you know the gamut of, of media companies, is that we've done a really poor job of not equip them with the tools they need to run their business and helping them solve their business problems. And as an industry, we haven't done a really good job of listening either. Um, so I think that's the thing that excites me the most is I wake up every day and I really do look in the mirror and feel like I'm making the lives of my customers easier. And they're going to go from my customers to my partners to my friends. And that's the most rewarding part of being an entrepreneur, which is a really hard job. So. Cool, cool. So walk us through a little bit, Ashley, you know, what the engagements mean with your customers, what you're doing, and kind of how it impacts their business. Sure. So I think it's important that to understand that Furious and Profit, we have a different perspective and we frame the industry a little bit different, right? My background is manufacturing systems and supply chain optimization and enterprise software. You know, I bought and implemented this stuff to connect my business and help me make better business decisions in other industries. So fast forward for media, right, we've sort of been using transactional ad tech to run our businesses, right? And then appending it, as Michael said, with Excel. That's what we do. That connect, it's what connects the enterprise. So if you sort of draw a dotted line between campaigns or impression level optimization or a veil level for TV optimization and you sort of look at the business of television and video so deals clients portfolios upfront versus scatter the sort of portfolio management side of it where that business optimization tool right so decisions like not just what inventory to sell but what inventory at what price and what inventory you're going to give up right if you're going to sell addressable then you're blowing up your linear measure guarantee and measurements. You've got to make the decisions on what inventory you're going to cannibalize. It's really the harder business decisions that involve a lot of math and require visibility across the entirety of your business to make the right decision that we address. So it's planning, pricing, optimization. And in order to have a better planning process, you got to have better forecasting. And it all starts with the line of sight and visibility across your business. So just advanced reporting and analytics, table stakes. So tell us some of the... Um data sources that you use and what makes your software run or I mean it clearly you have a proprietary system but so we've connected over 44 systems now so we um, and the hardest part of what we had to figure out how to do what in order to enable us to do what we do is connect all the disparate systems and data right so that's not sexy work like you know, there's no API libraries for most of the, the traditional television systems, right? Um, CMSs are dirty and messy, but a content management system is one of the most valuable, sort of wealthy places that you can get insight on audiences within the first party of a media company, right? Um, so we built importers and exporters, and you know, we, we figure out how to clean and normalize that data. We do it at the dashboard level within profit. You know, those are the things that we figured out how to solve in order to enable us to automate the business processes and and do the math, right? Uh, the second thing is we had to build a really flexible dashboard and front end, right? So our software platform is contemplated that a CRO or a CFO versus a ad, you know, AE, a sales executive or a planner are going to see need to see different things and have different business needs when they're using profit. So we have a very flexible front end and dashboard that we can reconfigure for different business units and functions as well as for different stakeholders within the business.